You were bodied by the microphone. <laughs> Who's ready for this next match? <laughs> then please welcome to the ring, brought here by his stream, Kakoma! Oh boy, this should be good. If is is he gonna up? run down with Tigers? What's Not, gonna happen? I, oh, that is glorious! Oh my god, he's still rocking it. It's brought yeah. him good luck so Yo, far. Concord, that was a <laughs> Why does Cuddle Corp look I don't embarrassed know. to be there with us? Man, he really likes that outfit. He's, I know he was embarrassed done. the He's first day. He's covered the face, but no, nah, he loves it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did he lose another bet? What happened? But Kokuma stepping up to the ring in full on Kazumi Mishima gear, except for the wig. Yo, he is undefeated in that cosplay, man. He's undefeated. Hasn't lost a step. Still on the winner's side of the bracket. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, don't fall down. Fly oh, stance, fly stance. All right, here the we bottom. Go. <laughs> fly stance. All right. That was well done, you know? Yeah. With the skirt on. That's tough. I mean, I'd like to see people at home try that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not really, but. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, definitely not. He looks so happy with that entrance. <laughs> His opponent, Rock Gaming's me. Oh, and I, we were talking about this the other day. One of the living legends, one of the Tekken gods. Wow. <laughs> knee. Indeed. Oh, he's being brought up. Uh, escorted to this, the ring by none other than his teammate, Rock's Dragon Chanel. Look at. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> this is. No words, Rip. The crowd just exploded. <laughs> no words. Oh, and oh my. I don't know. Don't, wow. Wow. Yo, he is about to snap through half of this top eight in a second. Can he play with that? I hope he can play with that. Oh That's a my stick hand right gosh. there. Oh is that boy. movement plus five? <laughs> plus five stones. Oh. He has them all. That was a good ass music choice too. Oh my gosh, what a brilliant choice. How to make a statement. Mm -hmm. Me not here at CEO last year, but he's here this year trying to get to that grand finals. Rip? Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that I, ho was awesome. I hope he doesn't snap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's about to try to snap the coma in half is what I think is about to happen. Oh, man. All right, we're going to see this. And, we, you know, we were talking about it. This is probably one of the living legends in the Tekken scene. Mm -hmm. Me transcending so many different Tekken games, but here still at the top of his game. Representing here, of course, for Rocks Dragons. Both of these players out of South Korea. This one should be an interesting one. Exactly. As I mentioned earlier, we have six of South Korea in the top eight here. So going to be a crazy battle. Kokoma, of course, coming off his victory at the, uh, the last tournament that he was at, right? It was a challenger event? Correct. Okay. They're shooting. Who won? <clears throat> I think he wants two out of three. Nope. No, nope. he's like, go over there. All right. Sit down. They're going for sides. The popular choice, you know, usually people, um, whenever they win, they wanted to take the first player side. Yeah, interesting so far, but Nii versus Kakoma, I feel like Nii has always had the edge against them. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Um, I got to wonder, though, is which character he's going to use? I mean, which character is both players going to choose? Are they going to do a blind pick? Are they going to call for that? I don't know. Yeah, Kakoma also a variety of characters. Primarily the Kazumi, though, is the one he's been seeing success with. That's the one he, he I mean, I feel like he, with. I feel like for some reason, I feel like he has to use Kazumi. What do you think is uh, Nii's choice going to be <laughs> uh, against this Kazumi, though? I think uh, recently, I mean, he's been picking a lot of Steve Fox, and that's almost ir irregardless of the matchup that he's about to face. Yeah, exactly. Last year, we saw a lot of Paul Phoenix out of Nii. Yep. This year, a lot more Steve Fox out of Nii. But he's lost some other stuff that we've seen, like Kazuya he's been bringing out occasionally. Devil Jin as well. I mean, exactly. Devil Jin, I feel like Devil Jin and Steve are probably his all-around go-to characters. Certain matchups will, of course, have him bring out Paul Phoenix. Yeah, and actually we saw Kakoma with Paul Phoenix yesterday as well. Yeah, which was just kind of a surprise pick, right? It wasn't, but it got the job done against John Ding. Yeah. And we'll see in uh, Kakoma, we know, it can use a variety of characters, but more, more and more we've seen his go-to to be Kazumi, right? Oh, yeah, without I definitely think it's his strongest character. I think the character's still very good in this game. But this is going to be a high-level battle. You know, I think you know uh, both these guys want to get the W here against yeah. Grand Finals. The last time we saw these guys play um, last year on the TWT Finals, uh, Kokomo actually used Dragonov in that matchup. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Kokomo's Dragonov uh, at all this year. All right, looks like it's probably what we kind of expected. Looks like it might be Steve Fox versus Kazumi here in this opening matchup between these two giants from Korea. Oh, right. yeah, it is going to be it. Kokomo with Kazumi, knee with Steve Fox. 
Now, one of the things you're going to see is like the way that Knee plays. And we saw this a lot in the matchup that he had yesterday with Speed Kicks. Knee is not messing around. When he uses Steve Fox, he tries to play as safe as possible. Yeah, and really compliments his playing style because, you know, defensively, he doesn't take risks. He doesn't duck unless he needs to. And he'll always, you know, throw out safe options, the back one, the down mm -hmm. forward two, transitioning into stance, making sure he's able to block in between. Yeah, let's pull the audience real quick. Anyone out here looking to see Kakoma take it? Make some noise, would ya? What about Knee? Anyone want Knee to win? Oh, Seems man. pretty evenly split. Hey, if Kokomo wins, does he get to wear the gauntlet with uh, the, the outfit? I think he's got to take the stones out. I think that's how that works. Yeah, maybe. And he's got to snap himself out of existence. All right, here we go. Game number one. You know, a lot of people were talking about Kazumi, especially uh, after recent patch adjustments. I mean, not, not too recent, but they were saying that Kazumi probably not as good as she used to be. But I think ever since EVO Japan, we've seen the rise of, you know, Arsenal Nash. A lot of people saying Kazumi is probably still one of the best characters in the game. Ultron as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Knee with the early wall pressure, though. Down back oh, three at the wall. He almost oh, got the finish it. Oh, he almost had the resplat there, too. Nice to slow down the sidewall. So, and the adjustment there from Kokoma. Rage mode now. Pro Kokoma, last pixel in this first round. Tries for Twin Piston. Not going to get it. Knee with the defense. Wildman, come for the punish. Jumps on him. Steps on him. Round one and knee. And sometimes, you know, it's those things, those unorthodox moments where you actually finish a string that people don't expect. Is That's how you got to get guys like knee off guard, right? Mm hmm. So, yeah, right. Knee looking sidestep right down for you, looking for those counter hits. Hasn't really landed a big one yet so far. Oh, man. And Kokoma is really going for some stuff. He's went for a hot peek there. Again, going for the Magic Four as well. Running two is going to connect for him here. Pressed with the shoulder, a little low poke there. Got to be careful of standing lows. Yeah, and then, you know, I think the key in the matchup here uh -huh. for Kokoma is going to be how he's able to land the lows and how he's able to use the lows in a way where he doesn't get hit by a counter hit. No, exactly. You got to be, you got to really be very precise with your timing against Steve Fox, but right? you cannot be predictable whatsoever. Yeah, especially certain things. I mean, you got to oh, remember, God. oh, beat out the Sonic Drive. Yeah, but knee still in this round. The down three from downtown. Kokoma tying it up. Yeah, and again, again, I think this is going to be a match of lows, and whether it's a low or a low parry, that's going to be the deciding factor when it comes to momentum and the flow of the matchup. Hey, hey. All right, nice combo to start it off for Knee, but Kokoma fighting back, trying to get out of the corner, and Knee readjusting, keeping him there. Oh, oh big out. back one. I mean, that's an okay place to do it. I mean, oh, man, I don't know. It's tough either way. Exactly. And look at this Knee working on this perfect right now. Going to get it. The perfect. For yeah. round number three. Oh, yeah. Seven golden letters. Now the momentum shifting to a potential clinching match for this number one match in this set. I don't know, man. It's really tough right now. I'm looking at the way that Kokomo's playing. He is seeming like he's panicking. He's starting to throw out more things here. He's starting to get hit by counter hits as well. Yeah, he's got to be careful. I mean, obviously, you know, we talked oh. about it yesterday. But Knee, you know, he just stands there. He lets you get comfortable attacking. And then he brings out the big counter. Huge lead here. Knee looking to close out game one. Oh, Kokomo yeah. still has some life to work with. Now he raises another back one. Knee going to take the first game. And he kind of has the timing down. I feel like every time that Ooh. he started to initiate going for a running two, he got decked. Lights out. And, man, what a tough break for Kokomo. Kokomo has to be thinking about that. Yeah, because if you go for down forward one twin piston, if you go for stature kick, you know, even running two, all those things can be countered by Steve's back one. All of those things are slower. I mean, mm -hmm. ugh. and the fact that, you know, knee in, in a natural position, holding back, waiting yes. for that opportunity. It's just a natural move that counters pretty much anything that Kazumi does offensively. Yeah, Kokomo, cheeks red with anger right now. Protection. Either that or he's in love. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those two. All right, looks like we're going to the stage select here. I don't know what stage he ended up picking. Of I course, think an option. Brimstone and fire. Brimstone and fire, really? Okay. Yeah, definitely the uh, the new rules here in the TBT. Loser can select stage or character. They switch characters, they have to random the stage. But all right, let's see if Kokoma can make a comeback here. It's going to be pretty difficult, though, I think. And, of course, the winner of this gets to play against JDCR in the winner's final. Yeah, and can Yikes. you imagine? Oh, man. Either one of these players seeing those guys in winner's finals with JDCR is going to be a treat. But right now, we got to figure out who's going to get there. Knee with the lead, of course. He's up 1-0 right now versus Kokoma. Uh-huh. Running two for the pressure now. He's still trying to get in there. Flash points got working out. I like the down three attempt, right? The only way he's going to be able to stop that with the counter is going to be with down four or two. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing is down four two complements the back one so well not just that his movement and you know knee hasn't really used Steve sways mm -hmm. or his movement and that's a thing that's also again super scary in any matchup. Yeah, Kokoma chilling, but he's getting his back pushed towards the wall here. 
And he's got them all backed up. And oh. the rocket launcher! Oh, yeah. Look at this. And he's just pressuring at the wall. No place for Kokoman to move. He uses the rage drive. He's out of there. But back into the corner. Yeah, he's got so much life to make up here. Still on the down two, going to close it out. Not looking good for Kokoma here. And I love what we were doing. So earlier on, the first matchup, he was playing, you know, a very defensive but pressure heavy kind of state. But now he's starting to poke and sidestep right. And this is a big problem for Kazumi right now. Exactly. Stature kick. Trying to poke. And Kokoma, he gets these early life leads, but he just can't seem to hang on to them. And that's the thing, I mean, whittling away, I mean, that's what Seafox does. I mean, he doesn't have the best launchers in the game, he doesn't have the best lows, but he can interrupt anything. Yeah, and his punish game has gotten a lot stronger in general, too. Oh, yeah, he has certain things that, in certain situations that can lead to a ton of damage. Wow! But Back he, one, two, one? Yeah, he doesn't get the full launch, of course, not getting counter hit on the last hit, but it doesn't matter. That get him kick. Looking at this, he's hey, going to push hey, pretty close hey. to the wall. Oh, he does oh, get oh. it. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, Knee one round away for Seneca Koma 2 to lose a bracket now. Knee wants JDCR. Dude, you that know would be this. ridiculous. I mean, when was the last time we saw the Battle of the Gods? We saw it a few times already this year, but oh man. But Knee is the god right now, man. He uh, is the guy to beat. Flash punch, finishing it again. Fly, fly mix up not working out. I mean, uh -oh. Kakoma really hasn't found an answer. Nice, able to continue the pressure here. And you know those Magic Force, he's not landed one yet in the matchup so far. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for that opportunity again, the down three. Yeah, Nia is comfortable right now. You see these duck pressure going forward with it. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh lights out. This is going to be close. Not going to be it, but man, one more mix-up could do it here. All right. Oh, and again, that double low. do it. Damn, that was quick. Nia taking it with a convincing two to zero over Kakoma. And he is on fire right now. He is doing Snap Oh time. man! Yeah! I didn't want to look. I blinked. I closed my eyes. Rip, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mark. <laughs>